Okay, so in this video, I want to have a quick look at clip envelopes, which is a type of automation specific to a clip. Um, and then I want to look at how to take your session view ideas into the arrange view to start making an arrangement going towards finishing a song off. So um, let's start with the clip, clip envelopes because we're still in, um, in this view. And what I want to do, I've created another return track now with a, um, with a delay on it, a different one. And what I want to happen is for the last rim shot um, hit of this pattern, so this one down here, I want this one to have delay on it only. So I want to make a send, um, or an automated send that will get just that hit to the delay and then go back down to not sending anymore. So what I've done down here, you, you've seen already this view, the piano roll, and you know some of the things like duplicate and the loop and loop length, um, and you'll need to explore some more of these at some stage. If you click the little tiny E down here, it stands for envelopes, and it's going to show you a different view. You can still see the MIDI notes, but what you can see is this line. If I move the parameter that's in focus, so at the moment it's send D, and you can see that here, as opposed to something like track volume, now you'd see that. Um, so it also, you don't have to select from here what you're viewing, it will just always view what you touched last. So what I want to happen is for this type of an effect. Okay, but obviously I don't want to have to move that with my mouse every time. Also, this is available on my MIDI controller, so I can move that without the mouse. So I'm just going to record that movement. If you don't have a MIDI controller, you can record the movement of your mouse. It's just more convenient to have a, a pot to do that on. So there's not much to do here really, is just to choose the parameter that you want to manipulate or record automation. You need to record enable the track. and the only other thing you need to be aware of, and I'm just going to bring up my little um, info view, is um, automation arm. So it's this tiny button here. Um, and this isn't going to show it anymore because I'm over there. But basically what this does is it, it allows tracks to be uh, for automation to be recorded onto them. Um, let's have a very quick look in the preferences. If you have a look here, um, record session automation in all tracks or arm tracks. So I'm going to leave it on arm tracks, which is this button here. Um, if you have it on all tracks, it just means that you don't have to record enable. Um, and if you hit the record, the session overdub button, any moves you do will be recorded to those tracks. So I'm going to leave it on arm tracks for the moment, which is what I want here. And I've got the view here so you can see what's happening. We're wanting to automate send D. So all I have to do, as long as that's turned on, I've got this record enabled according to the preferences, and hit this. Okay, so you can see that I've got a little bit of the kick going to the delay as well, so I don't want that. I'm just going to undo that and give it another go. So it's easy to do. Okay, if there's any um, automation that I don't need, I can just delete it by selecting it and deleting it, and if there's a point, a break point that I don't need, I can just click on it to delete it. So this is this is the automation here that's going on. So I recorded that, and I accidentally bumped C, um, which is okay. So I can just delete that, and now it's not automated. See the red dot here indicates that something's got automation on it. So let's have a listen to that. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that's just associated with that clip and not the other ones. So none of these have that automation. If I want, I can easily just duplicate this. And now if we look at the other clips, you'll see that they all have that same automation on them. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. I might just do it on, say, every second one. So a different way to do that would be just to get this an option drag. Let's put that there and there. And that way it doesn't happen on every single one. It happens on every second one. Anyway, um, so that's, that's clip automation or clip envelopes, I should say. Uh, you can also draw it in, of course. There's two ways to do that. There's a click to create um, breakpoints and then drag them. And another way to do it, which is quite convenient for this sort of style thing where you just want to send one note, is to make a selection and then just drag it up. And if you want, you can always make these more gradual. So whatever way works for you. In this case, I like recording it in so you can get the feel for it. And let's move on now so what we want to be able to do now is take this bunch of ideas or loops at the moment and we want to put them into an arrangement um, a timeline so that we can continue to sort of make um, or work with our ideas in a in a linear fashion now so let's have a look at how that's going to work I'm going to go stop, stop, and that gets the arrange playhead to the beginning of the session. So that's pressing stop twice. You can also do function and the left arrow uh, to get back to the beginning. So this is returned to the beginning of the timeline. And I'm pressing tab to toggle between screens. So what I want to do is simply play each of these scenes, and I'm going to record what I do into the arrange window. So rather than dragging them, which I'll show you in a minute, you can actually record a performance, which means you can tweak parameters um, and do a, do a bunch of things. So I might do a fade in to um, demonstrate that. So I'm going to bring my fader down for this track. Uh, and again, I'm going to use my MIDI controller to fade that back in when I'm ready. And that's about it, I think. I'll record enable that, but I don't need to. Um, right, so if I... We've been using this record button or the record buttons in your grid here to record clips into the scene view. This record button's associated with the arrangement view. So let's just toggle over to here. If I hit record here, you can see that it's recording clips into this window and I'll show you why they're greyed out in a moment. So I'm just going to undo that and just make sure we're starting from the beginning again, which was function and the left arrow and tab back into here. So I'm going to start by uh, making sure all clips are off and I'm going to hit record and then start playing. Uh, one thing you'll notice too is is um, global quantize. I'll just quickly talk about this for a moment. If there's no quantize setting on, I can start to play things whenever. And they'll be out of time because I didn't start them exactly at the beginning of a bar or a beat or anything like that. I just kind of randomly press them. So to um, make sure that things are synced up and you can decide how you want to use this, you use what's called the global quantization. So I'm going to quantize everything by one bar, which means that I can't start something in between bars. So for example, I'm going to press this. This will start the playback. One, two, three, four. And if I start this here, it's going to wait until the next bar to start playing and not allow me to start things out of time. I'll show you again with this one. So press it. And same with stop. So everything's going to be quantized by one bar in terms of when I play and stop it. So when I record this in, 
it's all going to be in time. So stop all. Let's do that so you can see what happens. So I'm going to hit record. Now, instead of pressing these, I'm going to use um, my push controller because then you'll be able to see what's happening in the arrangement window, which is probably more useful. So hit record here. Okay, so this is the arrangement. Now, you'll notice it's grayed out, and if I hit play, it's going to play whatever's playing in this window, which is only the um, keyboard, and that's turned down at the moment, so that's the only thing we're hearing. Now, what we want to do, once we're ready to go and move into the arrangement, is this button here, which is called um, Back to Arrange. So basically, because clips were playing, it overrides what's in the arrangement and you can see that here because these are grayed out. Now when I click this, now these are what you hear and not what's playing in here and these are all these stopped now. So we can go stop stop or function um, arrow and hit play and now you're going to hear um, what I just recorded into this window. Okay, so that's that's the basic idea of how to get something from your um, session view into the arrange view by playing it. It can be a really fun way of working. You'll notice that the um, volume automation that I did, because I've slowly faded this in and out, has now been recorded as track automation. And also the um, clip envelopes. So if you remember how we created this thing here, um, the clip envelopes automatically get turned into track automation um, when you record or when you move by clicking and dragging something from um, session view to arrange view. So, and it happens the other way too. So if you create automation in the arrangement and you drag this back, let's just test that out. So uh, yeah, let's just muck around with panning. Actually, let's just do volume because it's much more obvious. So zoom in here and I'm just going to just do some pretty random um, volume changing whoops okay so that'll do so this clip if we solo that now sounds like this
Okay, now if we drag that back, so to move um, anything, uh, or clips I should say, between arrangement and session view, you simply click it and then press tab and drop it. And if we look at the track volume, you'll notice that that's now been turned into um, a clip envelope from track automation. So it goes both ways. You almost don't need to think about it. It just happens. So here's a clip without, and here's a clip which is responding to what we did in this window. All right. Um, quickly, before I finish up this video, I'm just going to delete that, and I'm going to delete the arrangement here um, because I want to show you a whole other way that you can do that. So select all, delete, and we're back to where we started. Stop, stop, puts our cursor at the beginning. So instead of recording the um, arrangement this time, we're just going to do it by um, dragging, dragging and dropping essentially. So click, hold, tab, and make sure you drop the clips into the correct track. So this, this MIDI information is supposed to play the keyboard, so it needs to be there. If we put that in a different track, we can have a listen to it. Um, is that turned on? Yeah. These are probably notes that are outside of the range of the drum rack, so that's not going to do much. It might do something down here. There you go. Okay, so it's just going to play random stuff that doesn't make sense. Sometimes that can turn out cool, but generally you should... Um, if you're going to do that, do it on purpose and not by accident. So I can duplicate this. So maybe I want it to go four times. This way I'd have to draw in the volume automation. So I'm going to turn that up to zero, where it was, and click, click and drag. And that kind of recreates the effect that we had before. Just take this off solo. Okay, so you can hear that building up. It's just a different workflow. Yeah, you can record it or you can um, drag and drop. So same thing, I'm going to shift click to get more than one clip. Click and hold, tab, pop it in here and um, duplicate. And I'm just building an arrangement by copying um, my clips over essentially. And then I can go back here, get the next scene shift click to get the whole lot click tab drop duplicate shift click duplicate and so on i'll grab one more scene let's just get this one um, click tab and drop that up here so you'll notice that you know th these are four bars long and these are two bars long, so I need to duplicate them to be the same length. And then if I shift click, I can select the whole lot and duplicate that. So if we play through this now, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so there's a couple of ideas for how to take um, an idea or a sort of a loop-based, non-linear um, bunch of ideas, arrangement ideas from session view into an actual an arrangement in the arrange view, and then you can work on uh, doing automation and editing and, and refining your arrangement uh, and slowly building up something towards a finished song. Okay, thanks.